So the 15 minute timer just uh, finished. So what you're looking at here, and it's on a flat surface, I'll lift it up so you can see it a little better. You'll see that the blue line has gone away and that's what's supposed to occur. Um, and your control line should be a pink to purplish color. Um, I ran this as my test uh, as a simulation. So my sample would be interpreted as a negative result. It depicts a uh, positive and negative right here on the front of the card. Um, keep in mind when you're running a control sample, an external control, which is your positive or negative, you need to place eight drops in the top well. And when you put the uh, swab in, you turn it three times clockwise. Um, also, here is a quick guide procedure card. Um, this helps you with interpretation of results. Um, you want to focus here on your invalid re uh, results. If you have a sample that's invalid, you must repeat it. Um, another tip I'd like to share with you is once you, I would always put the drops in first and then add the swab so you do not contaminate the tip of the um, reagent bottle. Um, once you put the drops in the top well, you have up to three minutes to place uh, the swab in the bottom hole to twirl it. Also, if you're not here to read it exactly at 15 minutes, they give you an additional 15 minutes. However, you can't read it after 30 minutes total. Um, after 30 minutes, you would need to repeat the test.